Oh my gosh. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. Folks at home, folks at home, welcome back to UC Fishing. I'm out here today. I'll be honest, not really expecting to catch that many. So full moon, either last night or tonight, this fish want to move up. It was warm all week when a cold front came. Woke up this morning, pretty cold, super harsh north wind. Probably rolling like 20 out of the north right now. It's going to be like that all day. So these fish were wanting to spawn, wanting to move up. They might have pulled back off. I don't know. I've only caught two so far. Neither of them have been on the bank. It's only two so far, so I don't really know. Maybe it's a pattern. Probably not, just the way it is. But, yeah, I'm really just trying to hide from the wind, getting in the back of these coves. I know the fish were in here. Saw some males on beds the other day. Uh, we're going to try to make the best out of a really tough, out of some tough conditions. Uh, super overcast, pretty cold, but stay tuned. Um, I don't know. I'm going to see, see if we can figure it out. You always want to go fishing on the tough days because you can never pick the weather on a tournament day, so you're just going to have to figure it out. So didn't look at the weather this morning, just decided to come out here. And hopefully we can figure something out. That's like a perfect example of uh, the kind of stuff I'm casting at. Just like I'm looking for this other stuff. Cause you don't have to, a lot of time, if you're casting from far away, they'll bite it. First cast, if they can't see you. So I'm casting like corners and stuff like that. Corners where fish will be spawning. The ends of docks where fish could be holding or any like key uh, places like that, but I'm casting there with a Senko. Um, so I just finished uh, up fishing in this one cove, caught three fish in here. Uh, two at the mouth, one at the way back. The one at the way back was definitely on a bed, um, which kind of makes sense. Um, bigger fish came from the front. So I'm going to try to do that. I'm just graphing right now. Since both those fish came from stuff off the bank, uh, I'll show you guys exactly what they were. One was a stump, one was a ledge. Um, I'll see if I can show you guys exactly what it was on the side imaging. I've got a couple more spots that are kind of like that in this part of the lake, so maybe I'll go fish those. I know I caught one doing this exact same thing yesterday or two days ago or whenever I came out here doing the exact same thing and that one was like almost a four pounder so maybe I'll hit that again uh, they're just they're just like staging spots for these fish uh, when they're deciding when to go up they pull up from deep water and then they just stay there until the time is right to move up into shallow water to spawn so Let's see if I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about uh, so you guys can do the same thing on the water So it's not really that clear, but that's actually the stump where I caught that fish. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. Might play back over, but you can see how bright it is right here. It means it's coming up, so it's a ledge that comes down like this, and on the bottom side of that is that stump. There's another one, there's a couple more. So I'm gonna come back, put waypoints on these, and then I'm gonna fish them. That's the fish I saw, so. That's dope. That's true. That 
I watched him come out and eat it like a freaking shot. Gee, maybe I gotta put my maybe I gotta put mine back on. Shock. Joe BBPOV. Froggy yagi 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 yagi. Give me that back. <laughs> Brother, that was sick. Bloody tail. Yeah. Oh. oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's a giant. That's a giant. That's a giant. Flip him. Oh. Oh. Get the way out of this! Oh, oh my god, bro! Oh! My freaking drag slip! Oh, oh my, god. my god! Yeah, somebody, somebody just got it out for me. God. Cut it, chalk it. Oh, there's one. No one. On that bush. Dude choked it, but it popped out. Folks at home, folks at home, little midday update. We got the Joe BB on him. We got the Joe BB with us. Uh, made an adjustment, like I said at the beginning of the video, I was catching these fish off the bank. Came and picked Joe up. Uh, got way rougher. It's probably like four foot waves on the main leg. So he stayed close to the ramp. Started fishing around, came into the backwater. Joe picked up a frog and he caught a couple really, really quick. I couldn't even tie one up in time, and Joe probably caught four before I get her even rig one rod up. So that's what we've been doing the past hour, hour and a half. Caught a lot of fish. I lost one that was at least five. Joe caught one that was at least four. Um, and we've caught a bunch of males. So we're probably going to circle back. So we're just trying to capitalize on that, cover a lot of water with the frog, and go to work. So stay tuned. I know we've got some awesome footage so far, so stay tuned. I think we'll catch a couple more. It's been slow the past 20 minutes, but we're going to circle back around because these fish are pulling up by the second, so stay tuned. That was my fish, dude. I would have made that cast right before you. Top of the nose. your seven to two turns to a five to one because you have no line on it. <laughs> Dude, it's fighting like it's so freaking big. Holy joke. Yoked. Joke. Joke. It got the whole dang GoPro in its mouth. Step bro, what are you doing? <laughs> Fox at home, fox at home. 
Fucks at home, fucks at home. A little abrupt ending. Uh, ended up being a super nice day at the end of the day. Uh, sun came out, wind died, and we kind of stopped catching them a little bit. Uh, right before, right before the sun came out, we caught a couple more on a frog. Um, but uh, after it came out, we only fished like one more spot and uh, just couldn't get anything going. Um, I don't know if it was just a bad spot. I caught some in there last week on a chatterbait, but uh, couldn't get anything going there. So ended up having to leave. Got a crawfish boil today. So uh, I want to say thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. I tried to talk it out a little bit in the beginning. Uh, in the end, uh, in the middle of the day when we got on that frog bite, we kind of just got, I guess I would say, lucky. Uh, seems like the fish just were pulling up at the right we were there at the right time when the fish were pulling up um, and we're throwing the right bait I guess I mean they were choking a frog uh, as you guys saw in the clips so uh, yeah I just want to say thanks for watching um, hope you guys learned something and I'll see you guys next time